I've spent the last eight years sailing the world with my family, and the last couple of months we have spent our time exploring the Sea of Cortez in Mexico, enjoying the beautiful desert islands and crystal clear ocean. After all that fun, it was yet time again to haul out our sailboat home, to give her some much needed love so we can continue exploring the rest of the world on a safe and seaworthy boat. This is a day in my life in the boatyard. This one's gonna be a lot different to the last day in my life video. Last time I did a day in my life, we're at some beautiful island and it had crystal clear water and we're wakeboarding all day. I mean, it's just amazing. So today, we're really just working on the boat, working towards going out back there. There's really no motivation. I sleep in here. I just don't want to go outside in the heat and just start sanding or working on something. But we have to because if we want to go live in paradise, we have to do the boat. So let's get dressed. There we go. All dressed for the day. I actually don't know what I'm going to be doing today. The last week, Dad and I have wet sanded and buffed the side of the boat and sealed it all. So we've taken off the blue stickers and now it is 100% finished, so that is very good. Mum's cooking bracky, let's go see what it is. As you can see behind me, they're all just tools. The living room for a long time just had tools all over it and I couldn't even stretch in the morning, so it made me a little bit sad and I just haven't. And well, today it's clear, so I guess I'll do that while I wait for breakfast and wait to get told what to do this morning because I don't know. breakfast is absolutely delicious we have some savory crepes that have cheese and mints in it with some cucumber pretty good pretty good let's take a bite mm. It's nine o'clock, it's time to head out to work. This morning's beautiful view and noises. From that bad bit forward, I want that nice because that's in the boat and that's in that back. So I'm going to be sanding the shaft as my first thing this morning. Whenever I'm doing something that I don't really want to do and working on the boat, I just 
all the nice places we've been and that we'll be able to do that sooner once the boat is finished. We are filling <laughs> the holes today. These are like osmosis holes. Some of them weren't actually really bad yet, but we wanted to get all of them out of the way. So we'll seal this all up and it'll just never have to be touched again. So what's the process today, Val? So we are just acetoning all of the holes right now. So they're all sanitized and clean, I guess. And <laughs> then we're gonna fill them with epoxy. I am making the epoxy mix to fill the holes. We made just the runny mix, just the epoxy, and now we're adding some powder stuff to the so that it's thick and like stays in the hole. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. So this way, usually you go through that one. I can't remember which one you point to. Yeah. Eight hours later. Work is done for the day. So mum and I are in the kitchen. We are making dinner. Tonight's dinner is some pasta, homemade pasta with some sauce that mum is gonna whip up. Make the dough and then we blend it through the thing. Yeah, you flatten it through the thing and then you line it through the thing. And I still haven't had a shower yet, but after this, I will go have a shower. Don't mind the noise. Look at this. I can't believe I used to run it through so many times. I just do it once. That was a day in my life in the boatyard.